Hello everyone, we are going to play a virtual grocery shopping game here. If you had $50 to spend at this Randall's grocery store, what would you buy? All right, this is their current sales ad. Now let's talk quickly about Randall's. It is a grocery store chain in Texas. Now I'll quickly tell you, Randall's is under the umbrella of Albertsons. And Albertsons also owns Acme, Jewel Osco, Safeway, Tom Thumb, and Vons. Those are the ones I'm familiar with. I haven't heard of these other ones very much, but I'm sure they are very important around the country. Okay, so let's go over some of these items in this ad. You're going to see the loss leaders here on the first page. So remember, the deal is, what would you buy for $50 in hand if you walked into this grocery store. Okay, so what I'm gonna tell you here is these bananas right here, I mean, I was so excited. I saw 29 cents for bananas, I'm thinking to myself, well, I'm going to spend about $3 on 10 pounds of this, $2.90. But of course, they look out for people like me, they watch out and it's the limit four pounds. So I'm gonna get four pounds of that. Now, over here, they have the berries, buy one, get one free. So the berries are 12 ounces for raspberries or blueberries or a pound for strawberries. I don't know what their base price is on these berries, so I would have to be at the store to decide if I would get one of those or not, one or more. I'm going to pick up some of this uh, boneless chuck roast or the boneless bottom round roast for $3.99 a pound. I really don't know, see the problem I have with a lot of beef at supermarkets is that they're kind of like too hard when I try to bite into them, they're like overly chewy. So what I found is if I put like the poor quality of meats in my Instant Pot, the Instant Pot will soften it up. Otherwise I'm not really sure what to do. So usually I don't really get cheaper cuts of meat, but I'm going to try it and then put it in my Instant Pot. Okay, that's what I would do. So I might do this for two pounds because my husband likes beef a lot. Now let's go down a little further here. This right here, guys, remember the 10 pound packs of chicken legs for like a price like this, 39 cents a pound. You can buy a 10 pound bag for 3.90, limit one. Okay, so for those of you who like to stock up, this bag of chicken, chicken leg quarters. You can only get one along with your four pounds of bananas, but I'm gonna get that one. I'm gonna tell you really quickly, when I was younger, my mom used to send my brother to um, a grocery store not too far away from us, and he would, she would ask him to get 30 pounds of chicken legs, and they, he would bring it home in this huge box, this huge cardboard box, and that just fed us for such a long time. Okay, so uh, let's go down here a little more, actually right here. These Roma tomatoes, jalapenos, or white onions, 97 cents a pound. I'm going to get a little bit of all those as well. I'll probably load up on the tomatoes a little bit because the 99 cents a pound price can be a little bit rare these days. I'm going to skip the fish. I think that's probably farmed fish. It doesn't say. It says fresh whole Atlantic salmon fillets. I don't, I don't really know actually um, if that would be wild or not, but... Generally, they tell you in the ad. Okay, so let's move on here to the next item. I am going to get, I think I'd probably get like one bag of these chips right here, like a plain bag. This right here, $1.99 each for Oscar Mayer hot dogs or bratwurst. So let's, let's make this one a little bit bigger. Okay, now... I don't know about you, but if I'm going to spend $1.99, it's going to be on something more than hot dogs if I have a choice. So I'll go for that bratwurst, and I'm going to buy the limit of two, because I haven't seen that price even on sale in a number of years. So I'm going to go for that. Let's scroll down a little more. Or actually, let's see this ground beef right here, 80% lean. I will get some of that for three, yeah, three ninety nine a pound. I think that is probably, you know, I'll probably just do a pound of that actually, okay? Let's, uh, let's go down here a little more. 
The bread at 99 cents a loaf. I'll probably do that because it's a brand name and I, I have tried Nature's Own and I do like their stuff. Okay, so what are you guys seeing here that you like that you would spend your money on? I really don't like when they do these tiny things in the ad right here. Like, what do you do if you're like elderly? You need like a magnifying glass if you can't see. Cereal, I'm going to skip that. Goldfish, don't need it. Let's see, these mixed nuts are $5.99 each. I might buy a can of those. But that might actually be the regular price. But mixed nuts, no, I think mixed nuts for, for planters for that. I think I will get that. Okay, cereal, going to skip that. Olive oil, I generally buy a big jug, giant jugs of olive oil, so I'm going to leave that alone. Okay, so since we're past the loss leaders, I don't see too much. I'm going to skip that alcohol section. We don't really, you know, drink much of anything in this house. Okay, so here we go. Here's another produce page. So let's talk about this. Grapes at $2.49 a pound. I'm skipping it. Cherries, California cherries. Here's those California cherries again, like they were in the Kroger ad. Instead of $5.99, it's actually $6.99. It's actually a little higher. Now, California being closer to Texas, I would think that that would have been a little bit cheaper because there's less transportation time to get to Texas. Uh, so I would not buy that at $6.99 pound, as delicious as they look. Guys, like I said, cherries are one of my favorites. Okay, I'll probably get some of these broccoli crowns. And I'm going to skip the apples at $2.99 a pound. I don't really think that is a deal at all. I'm going to skip avocados at $2.99 each. That's again, I can't believe in Texas that an avocado would be $2.99 because I would, I would just think that they, the source of the avocados are much closer to Texas or even grown in Texas. The onions, I saw onions for 99, 97 cents a pound on the front page, so I think I'll skip it at $1.29. A mango, two for, mango's two for $3.00. I'll probably skip that too. I might actually go for these apricots at $2.99 a pound because I actually don't see them very much. I think they're, I usually see them closer to winter time in the stores. So I probably would go for those. Uh, $3.99 a pound for peaches and nectarines. That is like to me exorbitant, guys. That is exorbitant to me. The last time I got peaches and nectarines, they were 99 cents a pound. That's almost four times the price. I just can't deal with that. And that one up there, that's the same. That is the same price. Okay, $4.99 for a one pound package of strawberries. Okay, organic strawberries, but I'm not gonna go for organic with, with um, only $50 to me. $1.99 for a one pound bag of organic carrots. I think that's a little high, even for organic. Um, yeah, so these right here, that's what I should have highlighted those for you in a larger image. Okay, so let's see if there's anything else here I would get. Okay, now we're in Texas, guys. So what is Texas really known for very much? Beef. Okay, let's see if there's any beef deals I would want to go for. I'm going to stay away from that. $19.99 ribeye, even though my husband would like it. Um, let's see. $3.99. I would skip that. I really think I would go for that ground chuck on the front page. I'd, that's what I would be more interested in. Here you have catfish. $6.99 a pound for people who like catfish. Uh, I don't really know. Maybe those of you who who eat catfish out there, maybe you can tell me if you think that's a good deal. $6.99. Now, one, now when um, when I was younger, catfish used to be like pretty cheap. Uh, now they have the catfish nuggets at two ninety nine a pound. That is that sounds like a fabulous deal. Oysters seventy nine cents each. Oh my goodness, that is that just sounds delicious. <laughs> For fifty bucks, I guys, I, I'm really tempted to get a couple, but you know, I, I don't know. $50 doesn't really buy much. I will tell you one thing that I do want to get with that $50 I have. Oops, excuse me. That $50 I have, I would want to get this three pound pack of bacon for $16.99, $17, right? 
So I will tell you why. Because bacon is commonly, where I live, it's about, I would say, maybe like a $6.99 sometimes, no, $5.99 for 12 ounces. So I think that the price per pound and per ounce is pretty good for $17 for three pounds. So that's 48 ounces for $17. I think that's really good. I would have to really maybe sacrifice a couple of other things in this grocery trip to get that, but I think I'd be willing to do that. Okay, so let's see if there's anything else in here that looks like a great deal to me. Okay, we're out of the food, we're out of most of the food here. I would, um, I'm probably going to skip all this other stuff right here. So let's go back up to the top real quickly and recap. So my purchases would be the bananas. I'm getting those bananas. I'm getting those chicken quarters here. Chicken quarters, probably getting at least a pound of that beef. I'm getting a bunch of tomato, onion, and a little bit of jalapeno, and back down here again. I might actually even skip the broccoli if that means not getting the bacon. Okay, so I might actually skip everything on this page and concentrate on the things on the first page as well as this bacon. All right, so please let me know what you all would get with that $50, okay? And it's always really um, good to hear what different people would buy because, you know, around the country, the prices that people pay is uh, sometimes wildly different. So what is the deal to you here that you would spend your $50 on, okay? If you were in Austin, Texas at Randall's, I would really love to know. Talk to you in the comments below.